Hey everyone, I want to show you just how easy it is to create a login with Discord button using PHP. So we're going to navigate from a login with Discord button on our server to the actual Discord site where they'll ask for, you know, uh, do you agree to these, these, and these permissions? We're going to navigate back to our site and then get the information like the avatar, the name, save it to our session, and then the user can browse a protected, you know, uh, screen. And if not, they're going to say, well, you're, you don't have access to this page. All right, let's get started. Here's the deal. I didn't want to spend uh, a lot of time on styling because we don't have time. And I use tail and CSS. So really and truly, I just have a basic HTML page with an index screen with a button in the middle that says login with discord that will go to the dashboard screen, which is another basic HTML page with a, uh, image and a username. So I'll show you what that looks like right now a login with discord button in the middle and then you have an image and a logout button here and a username placeholder right so that's just our basic 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 html pages and then i just have an error screen sorry you need to be logged in to view this page back to home nothing too crazy all right so from here we can actually start the discord process and to start that we need to link the user over to the discord page so that'll be in the index instead of going to dashboard let's link them somewhere now I'm not going to link them directly in the HTML I'm going to link them to another PHP file called initoauth.php oauth.php all right I'll make that here so I'll say init-oauth.php and I'll take them to this page from here oh man I don't like that autocomplete at all from here we are going to set uh, a discord URL that's what we're going to route them to and then I'm going to route them using the header, location, and then Discord underscore URL, and exit off of that. So what is this Discord URL file? Well, we got to make one. we got to go to the Discord developer portal, log in, create an account, that kind of thing, hit applications, create a new application, and we'll say login with Discord. And create. Now we can personalize things, so I will personalize a quick logo, put in PHP in there. And we, to move forward and get the actual URL, we need to do two things. Number one, save those changes. Number two, let's go to our general tab and add a redirect. So the redirect will be where does the user go after they initiated the request. So they go from our server to Discord and then back to our server. And we want them not to go to init oauth, but we want them to go to a new page called process-oauth.php. To make sure we have the correct URL, instead of going from index, let's go to process-oauth.php. Let's go there. It's not found. We spelt it wrong. And we spelt it wrong again. So this is the page that we're going to. So we're going to paste this in our redirect. And it's green. We'll hit save changes. And now we go to our URL generator. And we can say, OK, well, we want the identity and maybe their guilds. So now I select that uh, redirect that we just added, hit copy. And that's what we can use in the init OAuth to link them to. Now the user can literally go to this URL here and it'll take it in the screen. But we want PHP to do that. So we will say Discord URL is that and it's going to be header location there. So let's test it out. I'm going to close Figma, go back to Chrome, go back to our index.php, and I'll hit login with Discord. Boom, it takes me to that screen. Now if it authorized, it's going to take me back to process OAuth, but it's going to give me a code. So let's take that and run with it. Let's open up our PHP. And we want that code. So if there's no code, right? If uh, it's not set get code, then we want to error them out, right? We can say echo no code, exit. So, you know, if they happen to not send us a code, let's see, they didn't send us a code, then no code, no code runs. Okay. But if we have the code, we can actually get started with. Um, sending a payload back to Discord and um, getting further authentication from there. So let's save that Discord code into get code. Okay. Um, and then uh, we're going to get a payload started. So in this payload, we're going to need, obviously, the Discord code. So we'll put, um, I think it's called code, Discord code. Um, and we need a few more things. So we'll pay, we'll copy and paste this down a few more times. And we'll say we not only need a code, we need a client ID, the client secret. This is everything Discord uh, expects from us, right? A grant type, 
and a redirect underscore URI. And finally, one more, we'll add scope. All right, so code we've already set. Client ID we'll put in in a second. Client secret we'll put in in a second. Grant type is a simple string that we know right now. It's called authorization code, so that's what we're asking for. And our redirect URI is that same redirect URI that we specified in Discord earlier, this guy right here. So if I could copy and paste that, I guess we'll have to do that in general. Copy that, paste that here. And our score, it's not score, it's scope. Our scope is going to be that identify as well as guilt. Now, if we do this, this space in here, it's incorrect. We have to put it URL encoded, which is percent %20. And then we just need our client ID and client secret. And we find them on this OAuth general screen. So we get our client ID, we paste it in here. And we need our client secret. To get our client secret, we need to reset it. And we need to put in our authenticator code. So I need to log into my phone. Uh, just start typing stuff in. There we go. So that's my 2 auth o, And I'm going to copy that secret. I'm going to paste that secret in a client secret there. And this should be a correct payload. To make sure that we're you know, actually doing it, let's uh, go ahead and print R it into our page here. And that looks good. We have everything we need identified. Da, 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 da. Good. Um, so now we actually have to turn that into a HTTP payload. And so we'll make it um, we'll make it like a payload underscore string, and we'll set that to HTTP underscore build underscore query and our payload. So now we have this payload as a string. Now where is this payload going? It's going to the Discord token URL. And that's located at um, Discord's API endpoint. Okay, so HTTPS colon slash slash Discord app dot com slash API slash O off two slash token. All right, so this is their official token uh, endpoint with using their API. Cool. Now to actually send this payload, we're going to use curl. So you're going to need curl enabled on your um, PHP environment. And we are going to just look up some basic curl. Uh, let's see, request post um, here, just so we have something to, to start with, um, so we don't have to type in everything. So we are going to use, let's see, that's not. You know what? Let's just type it in slowly ourselves. All right, so to open it up, we're going to curl in it a curl, okay? Um, then we're going to set the options of uh, our curl that we just created, and we're going to specify the curl, then we're going to specify the curl option that we want to actually edit, so it's going to be the URL. Well, we just created the URL, so just going to token URL. That's going to be our first option. We're going to have to set a few options here, so um, we're going to say, hey, are we posting this? Yes, true, we are posting this. And then the second guy that we're going to set is the actual, what are our posts? Like if we're posting this, what are our post fields? Well, it's the payload string that we created earlier. Okay, so now we have three options here. Then we're going to set the return transfer. That's going to be set to true. So return transfer, set that equal to true. Uh, and finally, we have to do two housekeeping things, which if we were at SSL, we'd have to worry about. But since we're redirecting all in terms of HTTP, let's see, are we in HTTP here? Um, yes, so we're in HTTP, life is good, let's not worry about it. Um, so let's get a result back from that. So result is equal to curl execute off of ch, and that's gonna return some JSON. So let's just echo that out. If this worked, um, we can move forward with this. So let's refresh. What do we got? Um, nothing, nothing at all. Uh, let's see. Let's put some PHP errors in there then. No errors. Okay. Um, this is probably because our result is false. So um, if our result is false, so let's go in here. So if our result is false, uh, that means that uh, our curl execute return an error. Let's go ahead and um, echo out a curl error off of that. So we didn't get a response, we got an error. Let's go there. Boom. Unable to get local issuer certificate. Now, okay, so this is a problem. Um, curl relies on a certificate. 
So we're gonna have to tell it to ignore it. Now in production, you don't ignore this, right? Because curl auth underscore SSL cert. Uh, no, SSL underscore verify host. Um, in production, you actually don't want to ignore this, but you want to have a valid certificate because we don't have a valid certificate because we're doing localhost. We don't care right now. Um, but again, in production, these would have to be ones and this would be a valid error. So we're setting host and peer to zero. We're ignoring that and we refresh. And let's see, we have an error. It's because we spelt result wrong there. And now we can probably echo out result. And okay, so we have an invalid code. What that means is our code expired. We used it, it expired. So let's go in here and let's refresh our run. So we go back to the top, log in with Discord, authorize, and now we have a code with a refresh token, with an access token, all that stuff. So we're gonna grab that access token out of the URL by first JSON decoding the URL. So, or sorry, the result. So we're gonna grab that, um, uh, result and we're gonna grab that auth token that they gave us result I believe they call it access token actually so for consistency we'll just make everything access token and then we're gonna have a new curl where um, we are now hitting a different URL and so this is going to be discord underscore users underscore URL and so we're gonna go back up here to this API string Right, but instead of going to token, we're gonna to go to API slash users, sorry, slash, yeah, users slash at me. And that's, that's gonna be the URL that we want. And then in our header, um, since we're not posting anymore, we're now just passing headers, we're passing that uh, authorization token back, we're gonna set an array and it's gonna be authorization bearer. It's gonna be two strings, sorry, authorization bearer. And we're going to pass that access underscore token here. And then we're just going to specify what kind of content type this is. Access form slash URL encode. Encode. Okay. So now we have a we have our header. We have the URL that we're trying to hit. Guess what? We got to hit a new curl. So let's start a new curl and um, set the correct URL here. Uh, move forward with are we posting this time we're not posting so we're posting false um, let's see are we gonna return transfer yes we're still gonna return transfer we're still going to ignore this stuff and we'll have the result here we need to make sure to pass the headers so I will add a thing up here saying curl opt underscore header well, it's our HTTP header right and we'll pass the header in here, right? This array. So now we have an initiate, a header, a URL, um, and we're setting these kind of uh, fields to, you know, what their what their uh, defaults need to be. And finally, we should get a result. So if we did everything correct. We should get a JSON result back uh, from the top again, so we don't expire our code. Authorize, and boom, we have exit, who is my uh, login with their avatar, with their um, ID, perfect. So all we have to do is now take that and make that uh, JSON decoded again. Result true, and we'll store it in our session. So we'll hit session, session underscore start. Oh my, okay, and we're gonna set session logged in equal to true. And we'll set some session, let's go session user data. We'll make it an object that has a name, uh, a Discord ID, and um, an avatar, okay? And we're gonna get that from our results. So it's gonna be result avatar, our result ID, and our result name, okay. So we have a name, Discord ID, and avatar, and we close that out. From here, we can redirect them to the dashboard. I don't know why my uh, keyboard is spazzing out there. All right, so we're gonna go to the dashboard here, and let's, I mean, let's try running it again. It should take us to the dashboard. All right, we're in the dashboard. Now, we're gonna have to fill this in ourselves, but let's go to the dashboard. To see if this worked, let's start a session 
on our PHP end. And we'll go session underscore start. And to get our um, object as variables, we can do a neat little trick, uh, which is called extract. Right. So right now, user data has a name, a Discord ID, and uh, an avatar. So our we can just go extract underscore session user data. And what this does is this extracts the keys into their respective um, variable names. So if I echo name now, this should work. So PHP echo name. That did not work. Let's let's try echoing. Um, let's try printing our session user data. Make sure that it's actually being set correctly. Uh, okay, it is. It's here. Um, name is here. Name is blank. We did not correctly record the name. Um, in here so it's because it's actually username and not name we're gonna have to run it through the top again and now it should work yep so the uh, deconstructing worked here exit and I will get rid of that print R at the top now we just want to get the image URL but to get the image URL you can't just um, uh, take the you know the URL string they give you they just give you see they just give you a regular string here so we go to discord developer portal we'll go back Let's see, uh, save changes back to applications, to documentation, and we're gonna go into image format, image formatting here. And so we have to hit the CDN URL first. So we'll say avatar underscore URL is equal to the CDN. Then we go to slash avatar slash user ID. So we'll call that discord underscore ID. And then slash the avatar dot JPEG or PNG or whatever you'd like. We come in here, avatar URL, and we could paste that in our SRC. Let's see if that works. I guess we should probably open up a PHP tab. And here we go. All right, undefined variable. Um, we did not like that at all. all right, what happened? Oh, double double dollar signs. Perfect. Now we have my image. Um, to make so to make sure that only we uh, get to access this page we'll say if session logged in is false okay we will take them uh, to the header of location error.php exit this out so if we're logged out for whatever reason um, let's say let's put it incognito tab if we're logged out it's gonna say sorry you need to be logged in and finally, to log them out, let's create a, create a quick logout.php script. And PHP here, we'll say session underscore start, session underscore destroy, and header location index.php, exit. All right, perfect. So if we go to the dashboard and we make this logout.php, refresh, logout, takes us to the logout screen. For some reason, the logout screen is not redirecting us correctly because we don't have the correct syntax here. So here we go. And now we should be logged out. So if we go to dashboard manually, it'll say, no, you need to be logged out, logged in. We go back to home, we log in, we authorize. Um, and we did not get, so, okay, right now we are logged in officially, um, but it does not like something that we did. Is that because we put three uh, three G's here? Yes, it is. So let's log in here, authorize, and now we're in the dashboard. Now we can log out, we can log back in, and uh, we have this session so we can browse around different pages and be logged in from there.